Hello and welcome to another AQA GCSE revision video. In this video we're going to be looking at the June 2017 past papers from the uh, AQA GCSE 8300 series. This is the third paper in the foundation tier. It is a calculator paper and we're picking up in question 19 which says the value of x can be 2 or 5. The value of y can be 3 or 12. List the possible values of x times y. OK, so there are two possible values for x, two possible values for y. So there are 2 times 2 equals 4 possible answers that we can be looking for. So let's start with uh, x equals 2. So if x equals 2, then we've got 2 times 3 is a possible answer. And 2 times 12 is a possible answer. And then if x is 5, we've got 5 times 3 is a possible answer. And 5 times 12 is a possible answer. So those are our four possible answers. Alright, so I don't think we even need a calculator for this, do we? 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 times 12 equals um, 24. 5 times 3 equals 15. And 5 times 12 equals 60. So our possible answers in order, with not that we need to put them in order, but 6, 15, 24, and 60. Okay, part B says, work out the least possible value for x minus y over x. You must show your working. Okay, so it might be tempting to put the biggest value for x in because we've got x on the bottom. And that might give us a nice fraction, uh, you know, a, a small number. But if we use the smallest value for x and the largest value for y, it's going to give us a large negative number, which is the lowest possible value for this whole um, expression here. So what we're looking for is a really big negative number. So we want the biggest gap between x and y possible with the largest value for y and the smallest value for x. So that would be 2 minus 12 over 2, which is equal to 2 minus 12 is negative 10 divided by 2 which is equal to negative 5. OK, I hope you found that helpful. If you're taking your GCSEs this year, I'd like to wish you every success with your revision and every success with your exams. And I look forward to seeing you in another video.